So today I want to talk about how this amazing exercise makes you live longer, okay? First, I want to explain what HRV is. HRV, heart rate variability. It's a test that you can get done that actually can predict your mortality from heart attacks. I used to use it in my office all the time and you can pick up some real interesting information. Have you ever heard of the long distance runner who crosses the finish line and drops out of a heart attack and they don't look like they're unhealthy? It's because they had poor heart rate variability. So let's just explain what this is. So every time the heart beats, it contracts and relaxes and you're using the sympathetic nervous system, contract, and the parasympathetic, which is relaxation, constantly, boom, boom, lubbed up, lubbed up. So let's say, for example, your heart rate is 60 heartbeats per minute, okay? Now you would think that each beat is exactly one second, but it's not. The distance or the time period between the beats normally should be varied. So this one might be, 0.8 seconds. This one might be 1.1 seconds. This one might be 1.3 seconds. This might be 0.7 seconds. So they're all varied and that's actually a normal healthy body. It's when they're the same exact time frame is where you become very, very unhealthy. Interesting, very counterintuitive. But the more varied that heart is, the greater the ability of it to adapt to things, the more flexible it is. But if it's the same over and over, it's very rigid and it doesn't recover that well. Let me just use another diagram right here. Let's say, for example, you started to exercise. You activate the sympathetic nervous system, okay? And then at some point you stop exercising. When you stop exercising, the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the recovery system, actively kicks in and actively pushes that pulse rate down. Okay, so we have this nice balance of sympathetic and parasympathetic going on, especially in the heart. Other parts of the body, there are different ratios, but I'm gonna use the heart as an example. So we really want to align our exercise based on intervals, based on our heartbeats based on this right here. We don't wanna do this sustained exercise for a long period of time. It's much healthier to exercise in waves or intervals, as in high intensity interval training. So I recommend that you do short bursts of high intensity with a good amount of rest. Uh, and then do that over and over and over because that'll be very, very healthy for your cardiovascular system and it can extend your lifespan. And one of the reasons for that is this. Most people have a, a weakened recovery system, a weakened parasympathetic. They're heavy on the sympathetic system, the stress, and very uh, weak on the recovery system right here. And so I had a patient, by the way, that um, she exercised and then her pulse rate was like, like 150. It's pretty high. She comes in the next day. It's still at 150. I'm going, what the heck is going on here? She has like no recovery. I tested her and like, there's no recovery going on. So there's nothing to push the pulse rate down. So a really good test to measure recovery is uh, to do heart rate recovery testing and just to measure your pulse rate after a minute of exercise and see how fast it comes down. Um, if it doesn't come down fast, then you have a problem. So anytime you exercise, you wanna work with the both systems and not overdo it. It's definitely on this system right here. So short burst of high intensity of exercise, and I'm only talking like one to one and a half minutes, and then you allow yourself to rest for maybe two or three minutes, back and forth. And you can even apply this to any exercise. Like for example, when I ride my bike, I will go really hard for a period of time and then I'll coast for a while and ride lightly and then do it hard back and forth. You don't wanna do sustain anything for a long period of time because that actually works against the heart. So as far as health goes and cardiovascular flexibility, interval training is by far the better option. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.